Hi, it's Jim from Jim Dandy Audio here. I've been upgrading a bunch of my equipment uh, recently. I don't have a lot of gear. I don't have money for a lot of gear. But what I do have, I like to get the most that I can out of it. So I took this mic preamp that I have, the ART Tube MP-3. It's a uh, preamp and compressor. Did a review on it a little while ago. Um, and now I've opened it up, taken out the stock tube that's in here, and replaced it with an upgraded tube. We'll go through the steps in the video, and then at the end we'll do a little demo. You can hear some audio that's been run through this preamp, uh, first uh, with the stock tube, and then with the upgraded tube. All right, you got me uh, halfway through the uh, surgery. So the whole unit, I don't think, uh, I haven't seen any that have taken one of these apart on uh, up online yet. So with this one, there's two screws on the front plate that you have to undo. And then on the back, I've already taken them out. There is one, two, three, four, five screws on the back here that you take out as well. So you take off all those screws, they're little short screws. You remove this back plate here, like so. And then the whole unit carefully slides out from the casing. There's our unit there, and over on this side here, you can see there's a stock tube that's been included with this unit. What we want to do is we want to take that unit there, swap it out. I picked up one of these oop, electroharmonics tubes. We'll swap it out, see how that looks see how that sounds. Uh, you can see that it's sandwiched in between these two boards, the tube that we want to replace. There is on this side, and again I've already done that, this step, but there are two screws that are here. You also want to remove, they hold this metal plate that sits on the top of the tube holding the tube in place. So normally this this guy sits in here holding everything in. So we've taken that out. Now comes the tricky part of the procedure, edging out, wiggling out that particular tube without touching the glass directly with your skin. Exactly. Now I've found that the uh, circuit board that this is set into actually wobbles a little bit. So as I'm edging this out, I'm having to stabilize the circuit board you can just, as long as you have small skinny fingers, you have enough space to get your fingers and grab this tube. And then as you edge it out, you have to rock it back and forth, stabilizing at the same time, holding with your fingers the base of this circuit board so you don't pull the connector out. I'll struggle with this for another couple minutes and either you'll I'll come back and I'll be crying or else I'll come back and I'll show you how to stick the other tube in. There's a tube that was in there. It had some markings on it. It said China. Uh, I rubbed off as I was taking this out. The main thing I want to emphasize is the patience that's required to take these tubes out, especially with this unit where it is pretty cramped. As you can see, there's a socket that you want to fit the new tube into there. And the same thing, also with some patience, you want to edge this other tube, this new tube, into place. So you got to line it up. There is one place where the pins gap. You want to line these pins up with that same location. And again, I'll edge this in and I'll come back. Easier, definitely easier to take, uh, put the new tube in than to take the old tube out from here. What all I have to do is replace 
the supporting plate on the top, screw those screws in, slide the whole unit back in, replace the screws. Okay, unit is back together. Went together fairly quickly, fairly easily, not too much hassle. Now we just have to plug it in, see if anything blows up when we turn it on. There's the power. All right. Looks all right. All we have to do now is put some sound through it and see what it sounds like. So I have a very short clip that includes some uh, vocals and some guitar. I ran it through the preamp before I replace the tube, and I take that same audio, I run it through with the upgraded uh, tube in there so that you can hear the difference. I hope you have some good monitors or some good headphones. After I got through those clips, I just took the opening bars and put them back to back. Uh, and so stick around for that so that uh, you can hear those opening bars and the difference between those two tubes. The song say sung with hands, guitars, hot lips and tongues At the end of the day It's greater than the sum of strings and pigs Throat, fingers and thumbs Beneath the skin There's a light that burns within Say sung with hands, guitars, hot lips and tongues At the end of the day It's greater than the sum of strings and pigs Throat, fingers and thumbs Beneath the skin There's a light that burns within The electro harmonics has a greater range actually. Uh, the quiets are uh, even quieter uh, and uh, overall the gain is higher. And you'll also notice that there's more of the uh, upper mids that you can hear um, and overall the uh, sound is a little more compressed. Um, I should mention that uh, opening up the unit voids any warranty. My unit was old enough, it wasn't a big consideration. So if you're in a similar situation, definitely recommend upgrading the 12AX7 you have in your mic preamp. That will smooth out the sound, give you a better sound. Jim from Jim Dandy Audio, thanks for watching.